Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another Retro Shiz look back at the past. Today we're all heading to the mall, because we gotta make a special stop at KB Toys. Who doesn't remember KB Toys? God dang, they were amazing. The bins, digging through the bins, maybe have some dinner at the king's table and then head over to KB Toys, maybe in the arcade as well. If there was time in the ads, ah, the ads. But I got three Spider-Man Toy Biz figures that were exclusive to old KB Toys in the 90s. Well, one, some people kind of go either way on, but at least two, two out of the three were guaranteed to be at KB Toys. So that's, hey, you know, that ain't bad. The deluxe edition KB Toys Spider-Mans, we had the Web Trap Spider-Man, the Web Layer Spider-Man, and then of course the Night Shadow Spider-Man. A lot of a lot of Spider-Mans in there, and they all were repackaged, redone, repurposed Spider-Man, just FYI. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. Also, I hear KB Toys right now. They got buy two, get one freeze. We are totally heading back to the 1990s for the KB Toys Spider-Man, the animated series store exclusives by Toy Biz. Look at that price tag right there. That's just gold. So first up, we'll start off with the 1995 Web Trap Spider-Man, of course, KB Toys exclusive, a repackaged first wave Spidey with some added Web Trap accessories. And as you can see, yeah, it's the same exact figure from wave one, but he comes with an interesting catapulting into webs sort of deal. And just an FYI, I thought about this long and hard. I got this figure. The KB Toys price tag is on there. It's kind of hard to come by, and I really like the packaging. So if you don't mind, I'm going to keep this guy in the box, but I'm going to talk about him, and we're going to go over the pictures and everything else. They're not really missing out on much. Plus, I already have the Spider-Man. It's really just the accessories, and they're pretty self-explanatory. So you got no choice. This is what we're doing. Anyways, the back of the packaging shows everything, all the classicness. You get a Spider-Man bio, so to speak. Peter Parker, the amazing Spider-Man, has a vast rogues gallery with many powerful adversaries. So when the going gets rough for old Spidey, he uses the impenetrable web trap to secure them. Use the catapult to launch any of Spider-Man's villains through the swinging trap doors. Then watch as they helplessly lie trapped like flies, snared in a spider's web. And then it sounds like Spider-Man eats them, you know, whatever. Anyways, you can see clearly, you kind of, well, now they have Spider-Man launching into the web doors, you know, <laughs> any type of Spider-Man figure works, but that's, it. it's interesting, you kind of throw them into webs, yay. Anyways, on the back, you see all the figures, Shocker in particular always perplexed me, really largely unpainted, but more towards the cartoon and Spider-Man because he's super posable, he's doing a dance move. Proof of purchase, if you want to screen grab this, scan it back in 1995, and of course be sure to call that Toy Biz toll-free customer service number. Again, like I said, this is the same exact Spider-Man repackaged from Wave 1. You activate little spring-loaded web... Cartridge whipping action out of his hand, a little lever underneath his arm, flips it out. The cord keeps it from going every which way. And we have Wave 1's video up. Now, this really is cool. I'll give him this. It's a nice accessory, and it does exactly what the box says. Now, if I ever come across this as an opened package, I will redo this video and show this off. But, I mean, you pretty much, you, you, you get it. It's it's You throw the, the figures into the web wall, and it sticks them like flies <laughs> a very interesting kb toys exclusive and one that i never saw in the stores nor didn't really know about until much much later next up is the figure that will say kind of goes either way yeah we got him at kb toys kb toys exclusive question mark but hey i thought i got him at toys r us the debate goes on and on this is the night shadow spider-man with the web swinging gear a Spider-Man body that we have seen many times over now in his black and reds. And very Ditko, very early Spider-Man. Night Shadow says it all. He's trying to do his best Batman thing, right? He had the ball-jointed arms. This really gave him a lot of movement. Then, of course, you would see the screws and the pins largely that stood out from the costume. And the paint, yeah, not the greatest, we'll just say, in certain areas on the arms and whatnot. Now, he comes with a suction cup accessory with a 
web line to it and then a hook and you simply just put it around his wrist suction cup it to something if you want this thing is lost it's suctioning we'll just say and you can swing spider-man around and that was meant to evoke yeah he's doing the thwipping spider-man web throwing action which works yeah you know i mean you could web up scorpion in the face if you really wanted to here's web in your eyes to quote the cartoon show but a question is how come they never used white string or gray string instead of the black string hmm. the body type the arms everything else was seen in various incarnations of various spider-man figures except for let's say the web wings one he did have a hole in the back you could put the wings on this guy but you can't really put the backpack because of the hole but like i said yeah you can totally do the Batman thing. Which brings us to our final Spider-Man KB Toys exclusive, which was the Web Layer Symbiote Spider-Man. Of course, they just called him Spider-Man. But this was the another re-release of a separate Spider-Man wave with the Symbiote Spider-Man, which I was always so stoked to get until you found out the mechanism in his chest. <laughs> But he comes with several accessories, again reused the webbing though, we'll talk about that. Same arms, like the previous figures, right? Hey, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> Different body though, we'll just say hodgepodged sort of Spider-Man. But the symbiote costume is cool, we really didn't see Spider-Man make any constructs, of course. Carnage, Venom, for the most part they did that, although I do like the outstretched black goo. That works, that's cool. That's really the only time you could really get away with it. And I like stacking all the weapons together. If you thought the weapons look familiar, yeah, they're based off the Wave 1 Spider-Man Toy Biz line of Carnage. All his accessories just repainted a flat black. So, yeah, it works. And if you really want, yeah, they'll attach on Spider-Man's arms. The real kicker, though, I think, is this really nice suction cup webbing. Not only is it nicely designed... But it actually has a form and a function to it that you could do some cool things, some very Spider-Man things with it. Have him crawling up, suction cup it to a window, a drawer or something, or heck, web up Shocker after chasing him up a bell tower, right? You, he said you won't escape him, so I don't know why you were going anywhere. Shocker, just, just saying. And hey, you know what? If you're feeling it, you don't only really have to let Shocker get away. <laughs> The original release of the Symbiote Spider-Man did come with a web effect as well. Now, this one works too. It's an all-black webbing, but I kind of like the white one better, to be quite honest with you. I think it fits this whole Symbiote Spider-Man motif with the webbing and everything else. And to reiterate, this wasn't my favorite Symbiote Spider-Man that they released. Subsequently, later in box sets and then a separate release, they had a more standard body-type Symbiote Spider-Man and I think it just fits the character a little bit better. So that's really going to wrap it up for my look back at the Toy Biz KB Toys Spider-Man exclusive figures. All three great figures. All of them that if you're a completist like me, yeah, go back and grab them. Not necessarily ones that you have to get, but I really do like the Night Shadow Spider-Man's colors and if I'm being 100% honest, I like the accessories that come with these. They have some sort of function and form to them, and they really add something extra that maybe the prior releases did not. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Did you have these figures? Do you need to get them now? And if you have Night Shadow Spider-Man, for the love of God, where did you get him at? <laughs> And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember when it comes to old Toy Biz toys, make sure you're following me now on Retro Shiz on my new Instagram spinoff where we have 24-7 toys, all of them old, all of them retro, but still all of them so awesome. Let's bring back some of those memories. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.